Alright, so this is how to download it. Now, right up here, Imager, that's the link for Imager. Now, to download it, it's going to be, this link I'll have it in the description. You're just going to, I thought you had to click download SAM or whatever this is. You just go down to here to download right here. Right under the picture, click download, and then you'll, you'll download and then click extract all. Because that's a Borderlands 2 save editor, you don't want to do that one. This is the Borderlands pre-sequel editor, so make sure you do that one because they look exactly the same. Only one will work on the pre-sequel and one has all the characters for pre-sequel and one has Borderlands 2. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to mod Borderlands pre-sequel. Now I figured this out, it was pretty hard. So first, you're not going to click new here. What you're actually going to do is, I'm not going to show you, but you go in and you create a character, just level one, doesn't matter. You don't even have to worry about doing anything. You can just create him, start it up, and then exit out instantly. Then you're just going to go to open, and it's going to be in my games, if you're playing on Steam, and then my games, Borderlands pre-sequel, and then saved games. And then... No get your saved games. I have two. I have a Lawbringer that I made and right now the Frag Trap that I'm making. So I don't have the DLC so I can only go to level 50. But now since there's these really cool things called weapon codes on Imager, which I will have the link in, you can also get Moonstone, put in your inventory a ton if you want. So just copy that. Then there's all these weapons and all that. You can do whatever you want. Just copy this little barcode right there. Just copy. And then go over here, put in your backpack or bank, and click paste code. And then it'll put it in. But I'm just going to put a bunch of moonstone so that way I can have a bunch of upgrades and it'll just instantly go in. And you can go over your backpack space and bank space, but it's not going to be that. You can't put anything in there. So then you can make your own weapons. I don't know if that works. I just tried it, but... like, So you just go type, and then you can do different whichever ones you want. There's tons of them. And yeah, and then... I don't really want to make one right now, so I'm just going to delete that. So then you just put them all in from there, and tons of different weapons. The overpower level you can do, general skill points, I don't think that works. I don't think you can choose how many skill points in the first game you could, but this one it just doesn't work. Currency doesn't work. I don't know why it just it won't work. I put it at nine all the way up. Got zero credits starting out. Got zero. Got thirty moonstone just because I played the other game before this. Then you put it in the bank. So then also you can do playthroughs like me. I put a high level character. And I want to be playthrough ultimate vault hunter mode. So do last playthrough three and then. Just go down to here and do playthroughs completed too, if you want. Otherwise, you can just do it. But yeah. And then you're just going to save on that one because you have to make one in the game for it to work. You can't just press new and name it that. I tried, but it doesn't work. So then once you save, it's going to be in the game. And it'll be one sec for you. Alright, so now, see, we just have our characters, and I made the Lawbringer on that, and that one was fun. It is all Jacob's weapons, got the Maggie. The Maggie is on Imager, it's under the Legendary Pistols. You can get her ability to have two pistols, which is really cool, but Frag Trap. First, just gotta click him, go Ultimate Vault Hunter, then continue. Yeah, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is probably buy the DLC and then just keep going with this character. And just use him because 
it's already like I want to still level up and do all that stuff but I only mod games after I've played them and I've already played this on console so I don't have anything to do it so then it's gonna take a little bit to boot up for some reason I hate how they do that I think they should just skip that personally but you got put these weapons in there and no, making the weapons does not work. I don't think so. yeah, doesn't work. But the weapons on there is are awesome. Just like look at these. You get crazy powerful weapons. And then you get all your skill points which you can do for whichever, but yeah. Oh, it does work. Never mind. I thought it didn't work for some reason. So then, I don't really play with other people, so I try to avoid the ones that do the other people and stuff. Because that one I don't really use. go see and then the great thing about frag trap is what he has is this really cool thing where when he kills enemies he can regenerate health and create health novas which can be really useful when playing online and by yourself like basically that whole skill tree is great Yeah, if you use the laser weapons on Frag Trap like I do, then you'll probably um, get no ammo at the beginning, and then, but you can put ammo in your inventory, I just forgot to, and honestly you could just open up a few of those things and then get it. Yeah, personally I think this one is like the best one out of all of them. The, Nivorous mining laser because you get that much damage and it freezes them. Even though they're resistant to it, it still does crazy damage. But his ability, it's like, eh. I mean, his ability's not that great, but it's still pretty good. Just how. I don't really like how it's just like something random, you don't know. Oh, cool. Pirate ship mode just shoots like a bunch of cannons. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. There's a lot of damage, too. See this? And what's cool about this weapon is it has my most favorite thing ever that I was so happy I got on some of the weapons that I had. It, it's where it can ignore um, shield, shield sometimes. Yeah, Loonshine, 30% chance for shots to ignore enemy shields, like, that's how I defeated the bandit boss that you have to beat, because he was, he has a humongous shield, but once you get through his shield, his health is like nothing, but it's like, I, it was so hard, because he just would not get killed, and I spent so much time shooting him normally, but then, what happened was I switched to this weapon, to another weapon that had Loonshine 30% bonus, and it just annihilated his health. Like, it just took him down so much. 
like faster than I even thought. Like some of the guys, this like once you take down his shield, it's like he's nothing. And all his really main attacks for the bandit is just making the floor get electrocuted, and that's kind of annoying. But if you shoot him, then it, he can't do anything. And then those ships are good, but I just really like the ice ones. The ice weapons are so good. Because it freezes them, and even though these guys are resistant right now, they're still so good. But basically with Frag Trap, you're just going to be doing a lot of just killing guys because that will regenerate your health a ton since if you go in that skill tree, which is what I like doing because then I can just get more and my shields increase, but right now I don't have a shield because I put it in the bank. Oh, and there we go. Now I have a shield. See it? Since I upgraded the skill for that, I increased it by like 1,200, so that is like amazing. Truthfully on this, you can, all you really have to do is find weapon codes. You can just search it up on the internet. It doesn't take anything. I just found that Imager has like the most, like all of that has the best ones for it because Everything else has like some, but I mean, they're not that good. So, yeah, I just found that those are better. So, definitely recommend that going on imager and getting them and there's tons of different things you can get you can't get if you get dlc items you have to have the dlc otherwise it won't work which really sucks but yeah basically yeah and then like i'm also going to show my lawbringer that i made since i did that Lawbringer, I went all the way to Concordia. This Lawbringer, I got crazy weapons for. Like, since she has her ability right here, I can get two pistols in it. And this is how I killed tons of bosses. Because it has 30% chance for shots to ignore enemy shields. And that is crazy powerful and then I also got Zorpian's Eagle these are crazy because they shoot like lightning but once you get up to ultimate vault hunter mode they're just not that powerful I mean I'm sorry but they really aren't these are just so much more powerful and then what's cool is when you're reloading one you can like so like if you want to zoom you can shoot with one and while you're reloading that one shoot with the other. Or you just shoot with both like I do. But yeah, I'm gonna show you her in action. Like, I hate how they make you go through the whole story mode again. Just cause it it doesn't really I think they should just skip most of it, like getting the Oz kit. It's not that good just cause you already have one if you've played through it. A ton so why would you want another one I mean, why would you want to go through and then you it's not even that good of a one that she gives you 
It's like, eh, I found a better one just on the ground by killing a bunch of guys. And that was, like, so much better. Now, personally, the Lawbringer is my favorite just because with snipers, you can zoom and then do her skill and then it just goes straight for headshots and it's great. And then on, like, the boss fights, like the bandit one, I, what I did was I held, um, I did the F skill and then I just shot and it was just, like, crazy. I was just, like, just tearing through his health, but what was funny was I was going through his health faster than I went through his, um, shield. And it just, like, his shield was still 75% up, but his health was gone by the time it went there, and it was just perfect. Then with this, I just gave myself basically everything Jacobs. Like, all the Jacob stuff I got, and I made that. And then this, uh, yeah, I made that in there, found this, found this found that, made it, made it, made it, these I'm not really impressed with, these just, they don't seem to do that good in my opinion, these are good for lower levels, they're not really good, like, they're not really good against shields, as much as I'd like, they look like they do good in lower levels, they did amazing, they did great, but once you reach their level, it's just, they're not really that good. I don't really feel like they, they're a good Jacob's weapon, though. And I'm actually just going to use this one just because I like that plus 33% gun damage. It really helps out. Basically, in this, once you max out like this, you're just going to want to get the most gun damage possible. Let's go over here, but basically I just want to go and do Ultimate Vault Hunter mode because I was playing on normal, but it was like too easy. It was just like I was walking up to them and they were just instantly dying. It was not fun at all. So what I did was I made it to where I did Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. So now I can still get better loot and everything because that one doesn't have every single weapon. But, now I can get crazy good stuff, too, and it's actually harder. Yeah, this pistol thing is awesome. It doesn't work like the Gunzerkers quite, like it, they both don't shoot. It shoots one at a time and then the other, but it's still good. That means it increases your magazine capacity by a ton. And sometimes you don't want to shoot both. You want to shoot, like, one. So, truthfully, this... Her ability for that is, like, a must-have if you're using Jacob's pistols. Because that will increase your damage so much. Oh my god, this thing won't die. Finally. Ah, I pressed F right as kicked me out. Yeah, and then another cool thing is she has this melee. It's like that. Like, here are all the skill points I used. I used some over here just because I had extras. I don't really use that one since it's all about, like, ricocheting bullets and first shot. I prefer this one where it's like, last six rounds are crazy damaging. Because that's a big amount, and then that one. Because... The last six rounds, that is, and this, these guns only have ten rounds in them, so all I have to shoot is four, and then 
it goes down to increase damage. Then I got this, which I actually want to try out. Does this do good damage? Ooh, you do actually do some pretty good damage. Did not think you would. Honestly, I didn't really think this would do good damage just because I don't really use those much. There we go. Here's the one I wanted. Ow. This guy is kind of hard to aim. Like, it freezes them solid, which is good. But it doesn't really do much besides that. The sniper is good, though. Like, And then, once I go into showdown, it does that, but the shotgun, tell you the truth, that one is not really that big for me. It's not that good. Like, truthfully, it just freezes enemies, so, yeah, that, I wouldn't really pick that as an amazing weapon. I mean, it's good, but it's not amazing. Because some of these weapons, I don't know what it is, but it's just like, before, like, they're really good guns and they're really cool, but once you get to your their level, it's like they're just terrible. Like, they're like, maybe you could use it, but if you did, it would be really hard and you'd have to jump around and play crazy hard because they're really hard to use since they do like little damage sometimes but it's like normally usually weapons like that are great but for some reason this one was just like not working See, it's just like, these just dominate for me, and then that Loonshine bonus just, that's just like, the frog, the sprinkles on a cake, that's just perfect. And these ones reload really fast. These, like the Maggies are like, actually really amazing, and I didn't even know they were Jacobs. Here, you just like take out all the dark siders, they're just like gone. Like, but if you really wanted to get something like really amazing, some other legendary, what you really could do is you could like put a bunch, get a character, put a bunch of just legendaries all in that character, so much to fill up their inventory put it on the, the easiest fault mode and just go through everything and then you could go to the grinder and just grind all of that again legendaries like non-stop
See, with these Maggies, you can just, like, tear through everything. And then with her ability to chance of firing twice, it just works so great. But when you zoom, you only you only shoot one, but that's actually kind of good, because then you can shoot one and then reload, shoot the other. You have a choice. And those shock ones, those ones will take you out. But then what I really like is, with her ability too, is Frag Trap and her both have like health regeneration things. Like, she has these where when you kill an enemy, you gain a stack of order. And you have 5% of your health returned. So basically, as you kill more guys, that gives you more health. But it's just like really dumb how when you're like in the beginning and you have to go and it's like, oh, you gotta get an Oz kit. It's just really annoying. It should, it should make you like skip those. Just be like, okay, since you did the playthrough once you now get to skip this and just go on to this the normal mission because you don't need an oz kit and yet it's all like oh we gotta get you an oz kit that's just really dumb and to tell you the truth the frag trap is actually really great i like him using laser weapons with him just because he does so much damage, and I just love laser weapons and Jacobs. Like, I used to never like J Jacobs at all. I used to hate the thought of using Jacobs, but then when they made the, um, neat, the Lawbringer, it just worked perfectly because it's like a one-shot kill, and you, like, don't even have to aim, really. You just have to zoom, and then it's perfect. But at first, I didn't like her just because I thought that you couldn't zoom with, like, while you were in her ability. I didn't know that you could. And then I was getting really annoyed because otherwise you have, like, crap for accuracy. and then just bam tear through him and then that has a far reach which you can really use to take out their shields and then you have your sniper I don't know why it does that. Apparently you can't push down. Oh my god, get a headshot already. But at least it does increase damage when you're doing the showdown. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed me showing you how to do that. If you have any questions about Gib Save Editor, I'm going to put the link in the description. And, oh wait, I almost forgot. I'm going to show you how to download it right now. Just because it's kind of hard to download it. Because 
it's like it's not like a giant here download it's like under a picture so yeah and hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next video so let me get this one guy bam alright